Hi everyone, it's the Ticket to Christ. Thank you for tuning back in. We're in a new series, Don't Quit on God. We're going to be um, looking at uh, scriptures of encouragement to just really encourage you to persevere in the Lord and in the faith. You know, the Lord talked about what it would be like in the end times in Matthew 24. And we're looking at uh, verses 12 to 13 because this kind of gives you a snapshot of it. He said, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Um, and so why is he saying that the love of many shall wax cold? Um, it says because of iniquity, but it sh that shall abound. When you think of uh, iniquity means sin. And when you think of the word, word abound, what do you think of it? I think of um, it's going to be plentiful, um, that there's going to be a climate of sin around. And we see that today, that um, the environment that we live in, the context of society, is that they've made sin legal and uh, persecute people who don't come in agreement with it. So you see that uh, we live in a climate whereby uh, the things in the Bible that, that's listed as sinful, these things are held up inherited in society and pressed on people and so you and you're seeing it abound more and more and because it's a demonic spirit behind it what it comes with are other awful things violence and perversion and um, every kind of evil people hating one another envy and um, malice and um, doing hurtful things to people and because of the cruelty that um, is going to grow, that you're going to see increase in the lives and in the hearts of people to one another, because of these demonic strongholds, because of people's pride, their insecurity, um, it's going to, the love of many, not a few or some, it says many shall wax cold. So if you have, you're, if it says the love of many shall wax cold, that, meant, that means that, that that person at one point had love, that they will live in love comes from where it comes from God. So you think of somebody who was walking with the Lord saying that they love God and they love people, that person's heart growing cold. And that happens because of the influence of the context of the, the environment that they're, that they're in. And the, what's influencing their life and their heart? You know, you think of the parable of the good so, of the four soils and uh, the different types of soil. And I'll drop that scripture below, um, whereby uh, you know the, some of the soils choked the word. You know, they had things that choked the word, and so it did not uh, could not thrive. And then you had the good soil where the word was able to thrive and bear fruit. And so we're going to look at that. We're going to also um, look at what it means to endure to the end, because the Lord said, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So if the Lord says the person who endures shall be saved, it means that it's possible to be able to endure. It's possible to be able to come through. I think of uh, Lot as a good example of someone who was able to be saved from Sodom and Gomorrah during uh, the time of um, incredible darkness in that nation. And um, you think of Rahab, um, when she was saved, uh, when Jericho was um, taken um, in the times of Joshua um, because of her faith. And you think of uh, people like Esther, who was able to save her people because um, she had faith and, and uh, did you know, acted out of faith. And there's just so many examples of people who were able to endure through challenges um, and they were able to endure to the end and so be saved. And so we're going to look at these types of people and these types of examples with um, just to focus on your perseverance. If you're one who's, who's thinking of quitting on God or if you've pulled back from God and maybe you haven't quit, but you've taken a step back and now you have a quiet reservation toward God because life didn't go as you expected. And so we're going to look at that as well. We're going to look at Judas. You know, he walked with Jesus for 
I think three years or maybe even one year, but however long he walked with Jesus as an apostle and then ended up not only betraying Jesus, but committing suicide. And that is a drastic step um, for someone in that position to take. So we're going to look at that heart with the hope that instead of doing a Judas, you'll be more like a Peter who um, denied the Lord, but repented and went on and did great things for God. So there, there are just so many examples in the Bible of people who um, went through some really challenging times, but did not quit on their relationship with God, that they grew in their faith. They allowed themselves to learn from whatever um, uh, situations that happened or whatever things they found them, uh, you know, whatever challenges they were faced with. And they were able to overcome them. Another a good example is David when he had to run for his life um, and even was driven out of the kingdom of God uh, by Saul. Um, that is another uh, great example of someone who endured to the end and was able to receive what God had promised for him. Um, and and um, other examples are even in the New Testament, Mary and Joseph, you know, even though Mary and Joseph were carrying Jesus, right? Mary was carrying Jesus. Um, they didn't have a cushy life. They had to run for their lives with Jesus, right? And when Mary was giving birth or when she was pregnant with Jesus, they went to, a, uh, you know, Bethlehem and there was no more room for them there. You know, they didn't have a cushy, fancy Ritz hotel or five-star hotel waiting for them. They had to go and um, be in a very humble place and give birth there. And so it doesn't, it doesn't have anything to do with your intimacy with God in terms of the challenges that might confront you in life. Sometimes people can think, oh, I'm going through such a hard time. I must, must not be walking close to God. That is not necessarily so because Mary was very close to God and she... Um, you know, had to uh, go to Bethlehem. They were tired and there was no more room in the inn and they had to make do with whatever could be found somewhere at that time. But God still provided for them and they were and they were in the ultimately in the best place and where they needed to be. And the same thing will be for you. You know, God is able. He's a father who is more powerful than any circumstance that you can find yourself in. And you cannot focus on your circumstance. You cannot lean on your own understanding. You just have to trust in who he is, who has shown himself to be in your life and keep per persevering. So don't quit on God. It's this new series. I hope you join me for the next six days as we uh, study through this and look at these examples. God bless you. Have a great day.